Welcome to a lesson on evaluating algebraic expressions. We want to evaluate each expression and then check with the graphing calculator. So in example one we have a squared minus b squared, which we want to evaluate when a equals negative five and b equals negative three. So we'll substitute negative five for a and negative three for b. But when performing substitution with negative values, it's important to put those values in parentheses. So when we substitute negative five for a, a squared would be negative five in parentheses squared, and then we'd have minus for b squared, we'd have in parentheses negative three squared. Again, these parentheses are important because we learned from a previous lesson that negative five in parentheses squared is quite different than negative or the opposite of positive five squared. Here, the base is negative five, so we have two factors of negative five which is equal to positive twenty-five, but here we have the opposite of positive five squared, so here the base is actually positive five, so we have the opposite of five times five, which is equal to negative twenty-five. But because we know a squared is equal to a times a, if we substitute negative five for a, the parentheses make sure that the base is negative five, and the same when the base is negative three. So, Simplifying the exponents, negative five squared is equal to negative five times negative five or positive twenty-five, and then we have minus negative three squared is equal to negative three times negative three, which is equal to positive nine, which is equal to sixteen. Evaluating this on the calculator, and we need to make sure we include the parentheses. So we have open parenthesis, negative five, close parenthesis, squared, minus open parenthesis negative three close parenthesis squared enter verifying we evaluate this correctly. Next we want to evaluate negative a squared minus the quantity b minus c given a equals negative five, b equals four, and c equals negative two. So here we'll substitute negative five for a, four for b, and negative two for c. So we'll have negative, and then in parentheses, negative five squared, minus the quantity b is four, so we have four minus c, and c is equal to negative two, so we have minus negative two. And now using the order of operations, we want to simplify inside the parentheses first. Remember four minus negative two is equivalent to four plus two, so let's write this as negative, negative five squared minus the quantity four plus two. And now simplifying inside the parentheses first, four plus two is equal to six. So this simplifies to the opposite of negative five squared and then just minus six. Now simplifying the exponents, we know that negative five squared is equal to negative five times negative five, which equals positive twenty-five but we have this negative sign here, so this simplifies to negative twenty-five minus six. And finally subtracting, negative twenty-five minus six equals negative thirty-one. And again, verifying on the calculator, we have negative, or the opposite of, negative five in parentheses squared, and then we have minus, open parenthesis, four minus, in parentheses, negative two, close parenthesis, close parenthesis, and enter, verifying we evaluated the expression correctly. And now for our last example, we're given this word problem. We want to find the given information, define our goal, define our strategy, find the solution, check our solution, and give the final result as a complete sentence. The maximum heart rate is the highest heart rate achieved during maximum exercise. In general, you get the most benefits and reduce the risk when you exercise within your target heart rate zone. Usually this is when your exercise heart rate, also your pulse, is about eighty percent of your maximum heart rate. The formula M equals zero point eight times the quantity two hundred twenty minus A gives the recommended maximum heart rate M in beats per minute for a person who is A years of age the question is, what is the recommended maximum heart rate for a person who is forty years old? So we'll start with the given information. 
the given information is our formula M equals 0 0.8 times the quantity 220 minus A, where M is equal to the recommended maximum heart rate in beats per minute, and A is a person's years of age. Our goal is to determine what is the recommended maximum heart rate for a person who is 40 years old. The strategy to answer the question is to determine M, the recommended maximum heart rate, by evaluating the expression 0 0.8 times 220 minus A when A equals 40. So to find our solution, we'll start with our formula M equals 0 0.8 times 220 minus A, and now we'll substitute 40 for A, so we'd have M equals 0 0.8 times 220 minus 40, so M is equal to 0 0.8 times 180, so M is equal to 0 0.8 times 180, which is equal to 144. Which means the recommended maximum heart rate for a person who is 40 years old is 144 beats per minute. But before we put this into a sentence, let's check our solution. First, let's check to see if it's reasonable. 144 beats per minute does seem like a reasonable recommended maximum heart rate for someone who is 40 years old. To check this mathematically, we start with our equation M equals 0 0.8 times 220 minus A, and we'd substitute 144 for M and 40 for A, and just make sure that the left side of the equation is equal to the right side. We know the left side is equal to 144, and going back to the calculator, let's go ahead and evaluate the right side. We'd have 0 0.8 times the quantity 220 minus 40, close parenthesis and enter. Notice how we do get 144, which does verify our solution is correct. So again, as a complete sentence, we discovered the recommended maximum heart rate of a 40-year-old is 144 beats per minute. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.